So here I am coming at you guys with a very weird video, no script, no pre-written, uh, what you call it, none of that. Uh, Jamie Marchi has lost her mind. She needs to be fired because she is a psychopath, apparently. Well, I say apparently, but I know it's true now. Uh, so... As everyone knows, this whole thing with Vicky Mignogna has basically been spiraling out of control, dividing communities. One half is like throwing allegations and all that towards uh, the people who are saying, oh, that, that we need evidence. Um, and then the people who need evidence, they, they are like, there's so much evidence to prove that Vic is innocent and that he's being falsely accused and that the voice actors are just throwing him underneath the bus. But apparently, when you point this out to Jamie Marchie, uh, she calls you an incel troll. Now, I'm not going to lie. I had no idea what this word was. I had no idea what it meant. I never even knew it existed in the human language. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, I am not that. I am not an incel troll. No. <laughs> if anything... Uh, I hate everyone equally. I don't think that women owe me anything unless it's, you know, like, respect or something. And in that case, I feel like I had to earn that. And if I don't earn that, then I don't deserve that. I don't go around talking about, oh, let's pillage villages and rape and devour women. I, I don't know. Some, that That's what I found on, on Urban Dictionary. Uh... I guess she's backed into a wall and has nothing else to say, so now she's coming at me. You can see it on my Twitter feed. I, I've reposted it, I've commented on it. You can see it in my Twitter feed uh, at Slater Danger YTG, in case you guys didn't know. But uh, because I basically refuted the, uh, this one person who's been liking and reposting her tweets. Uh, I refuted all of their stuff saying like, they were like, oh, show us proof that uh, he's not the monster that the media claims him to be. So I showed them the Facebook groups that uh, were made to make Vic look bad, who, who've been photoshopping uh, stuff, the master document that proves that this was all calculated. Uh, not to mention the fact that there's a girl going around bragging that she ruined Vic Mignogna's life. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of examples that I put out there. And then she went out, out of her way to say to this one dude who's in another thread with me and her. She says, I appreciate... But actually, you know what? Let me pull up the tweet real quick. Let me pull up the tweet. The, t the tweet. God damn it, I don't know how to speak. Let me pull up the tweet. Because, uh... It's just weird. It's just, it bothers me. It just, it really bothers me. It's thrown me off that she called me that because everyone who knows me knows that I hate everyone equally. I have no preferences when it comes to people. So, so, she says to this guy, and I quote, I appreciate you trying uh, at Gamer Specs, but that guy is an incel troll, and if he's not, He's so ill-informed on the psychology of a victim that he smounts nonsense as evidence. For example, in his arrogance, he claims to have looked at all sides, but he doesn't even know all sides. If only she knew how wrong that statement was. First and foremost, I don't make any judgments unless I'm 100% certain that this side is right or this side is wrong. And I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm biased. I've... I've been a huge fan of Vic Mignogna. Every time I watch a dub, I hope and pray that he's in it because that's how good he is. But even I don't take sides. Everyone knows this about me. I don't, I don't see how, like, I'm, I'm an open book about this. I, I do not like people. I am misanthropic as anyone can actually be. But <laughs> apparently... I don't want to be in a relationship because I'm ugly or because I think that, that I have a horrible attitude, which I'm not going to lie. 
People have told me that I do have a horrible attitude, but if anything, the re real reason why I'm not in a relationship is because I don't like people. Simple as that. But uh, more importantly, she goes on to say, um, she, this is another thread, by the way. This, this one is another thread. Uh... It was actually on Marco Rial's post about, you know, like, stop harassing my friends and colleagues, that, that thing. Uh, so, so, this one person, uh, Alicia Nicole, for the love of God, if you want people to leave you alone, stop talking about it. You've been dragging this out since the entire thing started. He has been cancelled from all future conventions. What more do you want? His head? Either speak your piece or drop it. Uh, Fair amount of reception. I, I like the, that she's unbiased in the situation. Uh, 135 likes, uh, 5 retweets. But then Jamie March, this is where her being a psychopath comes into play. I, I, she's crazy, okay? She's like, yes, I want his head. I want his balls. I want him to feel an ounce of the pain he's caused others and then fucking choke on it. I want you to take his dick out of your ears so you can actually hear reality. But you know, that's just me. And if that doesn't sound like a psychopath, I don't know what it is. Or maybe maybe this hidden story that Monica Riol has will break the case wide open and show that she's actually justified in her feelings of this, even though, you know, she still contracted under Funimation so that uh, these, this type of language could can't possibly be tolerated at all no matter what the situation so i think that we should start a campaign to get her fired because she's crazy she's loco uh it, it's all just like a bunch of nonsense i i forgot which part it was that i came in at actually actually you know what i think if i click on the thing then it'll tell me or i guess not apparently but uh I retweeted that that post of hers to uh, to Twitter, uh, not to Twitter, to uh, Funimation. I hope that they do take action against her because, as I've said multiple times, she's crazy. And uh, I guess that's all I have to really say on the matter. Uh, so I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just still thrown off by the fact that she would imply that I'm sexist in any way, shape, or capacity, because as I've stated many times, both on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, everywhere, even PSN for that matter, if you check my PSN, uh, I think it should say it, I'm not too sure on that one, but uh, I do not like people, I'm very open about that, so I, I mean, it's just, it's gonna haunt my dreams from now on, so I, 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 I can't, I can't. People say the dumbest things. So uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe for more gay content like this. Uh, and I'll see you all again on the next one. So I'll tell you again. This is Slayer Danger signing off.